this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me today. Welcome to my card making for beginners series. Um, I've got another very simple little card for you today. Um, I'm just back from a few days away. Um, my husband and I went um, to spend a few days in North Norfolk. Um, for those of you who, are, who aren't UK citizens, um, Norfolk is on the bulge on the east side of the country. There's sort of a, a little round bulge and the, the northern coast of that is North Norfolk. I was actually born in South Norfolk, so right on the Suffolk coast. So I do know that coastline very well, but I don't know the North Norfolk coast very well. So we went there, absolutely lovely time. And what I was struck by as we were driving around all these little country lanes were all the poppies out in the borders. And I couldn't wait to get back to my craft room and make a card using this. This is using the, pop, the painted poppy stamp set which is this one it's not a new one it's been in the catalogue for a while now but I've not used it as much as I thought I would when I bought it I love poppies I'm a I like poppies and daisies and seeing them together in the fields is just um gorgeous I just love seeing bright red poppies and white and yellow daisies really gorgeous and sometimes blue cornflowers as well that's my my three wild flowers I love them um, but anyway I thought I'd just make a card today very simple little card but I just thought yeah I'd like to make some poppies so here we go so this is our card this is what we're going to be making so we're going to start off with a um poppy parade um card blank Poppy Parade is not a colour that I ever thought I would use very much, but of course it's perfect for poppies. It is exactly the right colour for poppies. Real red is a bit too red, um, and all the other colours we have are a bit too pink, so this is really brilliant. I do like pink poppies as well. I have seen a few of those, but I'm going to go with the traditional red today. So we've got a card blank, which is 21 centimetres by about 14 and a half, I think this one is. Yeah, 14 and a half. Um, or eight and a quarter by about, oh, I haven't got any inches here. Where's my ruler? Um, I know some of you do like to have the inches, so I like to give them to you. Five and mm, five eighths, five and five eighths ish. Um, so that's my card blank. Of course, you can um, use your cards. If you're in the US, you'll have a slightly different size paper. You have eight something by 11, I think. So it'll be slightly different, but it doesn't really matter. Right, now we're going to make our panel. So I have got a piece of card stock here. I have started this a little bit. Now I have made a line, drawn a line at about two centimetres up from the bottom of my panel. My panel measures eight about eight centimeters let's do it in, in inches as well about three inches um, and my line is about three quarters of an inch up from the bottom and that's just so because I'm going to need more than one impression of the stamp so that's just to help me line them up so I've already stamped one I'm just doing it in memento ink with where's the stamp gone here it is got it on a e-block because it's quite a large stamp so I've got it on an e-block now it wouldn't quite fit on um, one of our smaller blocks so I'm going to ink that up actually I'm going to do it this way it's much easier with these these um fabric stamp pads I find it's much easier to do it this way up you want to get a good inking on there because you want nice black outlines and then I'm just going to show you how I like so the the reason I've got the line there is so that I can line this bottom line of the stamp up with the line and then I know that all these stems are also going to be in line. What you also need to be careful with is that you're going to have a bit of a gap Can you see there's a bit of rubber there and a bit of well rubber there that doesn't really matter but this bit so you just need to nudge it in a bit closer than you might ordinarily think. Don't do it there so that you've got a gap because you will have a gap then you need to slightly overlap that flower. So I'm lining up with the line and I'm slightly overlapping that flower and I'm going to hope that I've done that correctly. There we go. So it's really nicely lined up there. And I've just got a little bit of gap at the end there. So I'm just going to bring in a scrap paper and I'll just do another little impression. Other way up. Another little. I don't need to do the whole stamp because I'm only going to do just a tiny bit of it. So we're just going to stamp once again, line it up, slightly overlap that flower and stamp again. There we go. Right, so we've got our panel with our 
poppies on and what we are going to do is we're going to take two blends you could do this with markers it won't matter really I'm not really using these as uh, blending pens I'm not doing any different shading or anything so you could use markers I'm using blends just because I love them um, and I've got them um, I'm using granny apple green the dark one and I'm using poppy parade the dark one and I'm not going to do all this on camera but I'm just going to show you what I did so I took the bullet end and I just coloured, and like I said, I'm not doing any blending. I'm not using the light and then the dark. <coughs> Excuse me. So just, and this will take a little bit of time, but it's fine. Just take your time. Like so. And Oh, I've gone over the lines there, but it won't matter. It won't show that much. Um, so just do that carefully, a bit more carefully than I did. And then with the granny apple green, again, the bullet point. <coughs> oh, sorry, I've got a frog in my throat as soon as I came on cam. Is just go over the stems with the bullet point. And it just, I think that just adds something to it rather than leave. I've seen a lot of cards where they've just left the stems. I quite like this look of adding the green um, like that. And so you just do all of that, just colour in all the way along and you will end up with a panel. If, you, if you're from the UK, you'll know what I mean when I say, here's one I made before, Blue Peter Styley. It's a children's television programme where they used to make craft projects and produce one that they made earlier. So there we go. A slurp of coffee. What we're now going to do is we're going to stamp the thank you. The thank you down here is from the Sweet Strawberry set. I must admit, I bought this set mostly for the sentiments i love the just for you i like the happy birthday without the you sweet thing i like hello there and but i also like the flower I don't really like the strawberries i can't i might use them but i like the flowers the flowers are really pretty but yeah the sentiments and the flowers um so what we're going to do is take that thank you from that set again with black memento ink probably be all right this way up with this one it's much smaller stamp so you can get good coverage and what i'm going to do um, what I do with when I have um, stamps, clear stamps, and then I want to get it really straight. What I do is I mount it on the stamp pad, and then if I take a piece of scrap paper. I'm going to line up the the edge of the stamp with the edge of the paper. You could do it on your grid paper if you wanted, and that will tell me that my stamp is straight on my stamp pad, my my block, and that if I line up the edge of the stamp pad, um, then it should they go straight of course you can see through but I don't always find that's a reliable measure sometimes I think it's straight and then it's not so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up sorry if my head's in the way and stamp and then you get a beautiful thank you there we go now you could rub out your pencil line if you wanted and not have that. What I did was I just added a black line. I liked the, the way it drew together the, the black from the design and the thank you. I quite like that part of my design. So I'm going to take a piece of basic black cardstock. I'm going to take my trimmer. And I'm just going to cut a piece that is about it's about seven or eight millimeters which is probably about a quarter of an inch it doesn't need to be a precise measurement we just need a nice strip of card to go over there so that is just going to cover up our pencil line like so and just finish that off really nicely um, this is a really gorgeous stamp this one this 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 group of poppies I really love it um, so might be worth considering if you're thinking about what to buy next very very summery I'm, I'm pleased to be making this I've had quite a few um, Christmas in July vlog hops this month and I really haven't liked make I'm really not inspired about Christmas yet even though I've got some products from the annual from the new mini catalogue really not very inspired that's not on enough let me try that again um not inspired about Christmas yet I just it's boiling hot in the UK it's one of the hottest days of the year I think it's about 30 degrees outside um I can't get excited about um Christmas yet I'm afraid right now then I need to cut this down because this is a bit too 
tall at the top. If I do that, it's going to take up. Well, I suppose you could actually. You could you could do a different design. You could have it covering the card. Maybe I will actually. Maybe I'll just do that as a panel so it's slightly different. Oh, yes. Thinking on my feet. Right, okay. So what am I going to do? I'm going to trim off this edge here. Not too close. I don't want to trim off the... Thank you, of course. Trim off there. Now here, I might, I might do it with my trimmer so I can measure. So we said that was 14 and a half. So, take my pencil so I can see what my border is there. I'm going to mark here so that, oh no, I'm not going to do it the other way around. There we go. Otherwise, I would cut off my thank you. Do that there and mark here where my border needs to go. So that'll be there. And then this way, I'm going to leave that as it is. I'm going to mark here and that's where I'm going to cut now you could do that by measuring a lot of people will say cut this down to there I favor doing it this way don't know why I just I just find it's more accurate um, and it gets me what I want so um, I do it that way but there's no no right or wrong way try it try it whatever way suits you so this is going to be slightly different to my sample card but that's all right. I do quite like to do a different card on video, so change it up a bit. So that's going to be a whole panel that fits on my card blank, like so. Oh, I'm liking that. So yeah, that was my original. So it's just the same, but with a thinner panel. Quite like this extra white space on there. So just take a bit of um, Tombow, like so. Take a cocktail stick or a toothpick, smooth that out. You don't have to do this section if you don't want to. I just like to have a really nice thin layer of glue right up to the edge so it doesn't squish out, but it does help all the edges stay really stuck down. That's just one of my little foibles. And then mount that so that the border is equidistant all the way around. Make sure it's straight. Get my head over it. There we go. There, yeah, see the Tombow will give you a little bit of wiggle room. A lot of people will recommend using tape runners, things like that when you're starting out. I always think liquid glue, although it's a little bit difficult to handle, gives you that bit of wiggle room. So if you're not, if you don't put it down accurately to start with, you get a bit of time to correct it. And that's it, that's our card. Apart from, we're just gonna do a panel to go inside. So another piece of Whisper White. I'm going to ink up our stamp again, but I'm only going to do this section because I only want a little bit of it. So I don't need to waste ink doing the whole of it. So just do that bit. And this time I'm going to do it so that the, the stems go off the page so that we don't need anything to look, make them look grounded. And just in the corner there, like so. So you can see what I've done there just the same. So again, we're going to cut this down. My card measures 15 by 14 and a half. So I'm going to cut this down quite drastically, actually. 14 and a half. I might cut it down to 13 and a half, actually. Oh no, what am I doing? That's the wrong way. Nine and a half this way. Oh, you can tell I've been in the sun too long today, can't you? This heat is really getting to me. I've really got brain fog. And then 14 and a half, 13 and a half this way. There we go. And then hopefully that is going to fit in there quite nicely. There we go. That will be really nice. And I shall just quickly, while I ramble on, I will do some colouring. Um, so... Those of you who haven't seen, um, I have got a paper share going on at the moment. We've got a 15% off um, several packs of paper, pattern paper going on. And so I thought it was an ideal time to do a, a paper share because it means it's slightly cheaper. So for £25, you get 66 sheets of paper, most of which will be 6 by 12. And some of them, a few of them, I think 54 will be 6 by 12. 
and 12 of them will be six by six because there's one six by six paper in the pack. Um, they're the papers that are in the annual catalogue, um, a whole variety, In Good Taste, In the Wild, Pansy Petals, Eura Peach, Sweet Symmetry, In the Wild, Beauty of the Earth, and I'm obviously forgetting some because that's probably not enough. Nine packs all together and you get a quarter pack of each for £25, including postage. So you get a whole range of pattern papers. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, please get in touch. Um, leave a message on this video or pop over to my blog and leave me a message. Or on my blog, there's a contact page and you can contact me on any of the means shown there. Just let me know. Don't need to pay yet. I need to make sure I've got enough people in the share before I can go ahead and order it. Um, because as it's a quarter pack each, I need blocks of four people each time I do a sh to do the share. So um, just let me know and I'll put your name down. I do need orders and payment. If it goes ahead, I need orders and payment by the 30th of July midday. So that will be the cutoff for when I'm going to order it. The sale goes on a little bit longer than that, to be honest. It goes on till the 2nd of August. So if you want to buy a whole pack of any of those papers for yourself, it goes on until the 2nd of August. So all the packs that were 1075 um, are now 914. And the pack that was, I think, the In Good Taste, which is a really big pack, um, which was £21, I think is now 17 It was either 20 or 21 Maybe 21 I don't know. Um, that's not straight. Make straighten that up. Yeah, that's better. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, if you'd like the paper share, get in touch. If you'd like to order any of those papers, a whole pack of those papers, I have used up all of my pansy petals. I'm a good way through my Eura peach. Um, well, I haven't used any of the sweet symmetry yet. I haven't got In the Wild, I haven't got Beauty of the Earth, I haven't got In Good Taste actually, so I'm looking forward to getting a share of that. Um, anyway, that's it for me today. Enough rambling. Enough rambling around and um, talking nonsense. Um, those are my cards. Very simple little beginner cards, but very effective. Who wouldn't love to get one of these plopping through the post? Um, I hope you've enjoyed that project today. Um, like I say, pop over to my blog, link down below. All the products I've used are linked below as well. Just click on them and you'll go through to my online shop. Don't forget to use my code. Please use my code. It is... Da, 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 da. Let's quickly write it with a red blend pen. It is, for this month, CSN4... UQ he says reading JV that's for the end till the end of July that's my code I really need to get that printed out nicely don't I anyway that's it from me today enough of that thanks for joining me come back soon bye